Hey, yo man we are back it's your boy cr8 and today's video is a very really long one man so do me a favor man watch the video all the way through, through man please watch it all the way through like comment subscribe on the video now what you are seeing is basically who's gonna be qb1 you know what i mean so starting the quarterback he's gonna get you know the first half and you know raheem Bailey gonna get the second half you know what i mean so right here they only put up three points in, in one quarter so Okay, 10 points and, and coaches got they gotta decide, man, as far as you know who's gonna be QB1 moving forward. Right now we up 17 to 7. And right here, I don't know which what I don't know what's wrong with your boy, but he, he definitely gotta he gotta put it together if he wanna impress the coaches, you know what I mean, moving forward. So second and ten, kind of a clean pocket, but once again, back to back throws. Gotta shake off the nerves, man. You gotta shake off the rest. You just gotta play his game that he know he's capable of doing. So just settle down and just play your game, man. Let the game come to you. Third and ten. Look at the arm. Look at the accuracy to Higgins, who picks up 22, man. Like I said, this is a very long video, man. Nearly 20 minutes. So it'd be great. Appreciate if y'all watch it all the way through. And Trey Mann for the comeback route. And that goes for a huge game. Second and eight. Now, after this game, you know, I got a little GTA cutscene, man. And right here, showing off the wheels, man. He's kind of that 4 6, 4 7 range guy. Probably that 4 6 range 40. Won't blow you away, but he definitely will can escape the pocket like he's doing right now. That's one thing the coach got to consider. And starting the quarterback in front of him, in front of Raheem, he's a typical pocket pass. Now, he did lead us to eight wins last year. Raheem Bailey got one of that bowl game. And right here, touchdown, great call. Good call to get on the board. But like I say, man, when you when in today's college football, even in NFL, bro, the typical pocket passes are definitely disappearing, man. You got to have mobility. And right here, look at the strike to the tight end. And y'all know it, bro. He audible out of that read option. So that's definitely something that he's definitely been working on film study a oh, good read good handoff look at austin pete quick feet <laughs> let's call him austin's feet uh pete nathan pete right here jumping off the ferrule he breaks one tackle can't break a second one but he do picks up seven that's gonna bring up a third and three like i say man in real life and in college man you got to have some kind of mobility and what a strike again and they did not give us a touchdown. I for sure thought there was going to be a touchdown, man. First and goal quarterback draw, and that's just too easy, man. He's responsible responsible for two touchdowns, man. Run throw one in the air, one on the ground. First and 10 right here. Good, good recognition, bro. Good recognition. Look at Pete with the quick feet showing off the power. He breaking two and three tackles. And he picks up 11 on the play, man. First and 10, we are striking distance from scoring again, bro. Nice clean pocket, and that's, that's that butt fumble sack right there. <laughs> that's definitely that butt fumble uh, sack. Second and 14, nice read option, bro. We're we not going to juke and jive it like Lamar, bro. We, we just, we just going to come straight to you, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like Smith with the handoff. Y'all recognize, bro, number 22, Smith. That's actually, in real life, Emmett Smith's son, man. Yes, Emmett Smith's son plays for Stanford in real life. Oh, nice pitch play. Let's go. We are routing these boys up right now, man. Let me know in the comments section, bro. Like, who, who would y'all go with, man? Like I say, in today's world, you got to have to go good block. In today's world, bro, you got to have some kind of mobility in today's game, man. That typical pocket passer that, that they wanted back then, yo, that's that's out the door. That's 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 non-existent, bro. Like for real, for real. So, you know, the, the coaches they they gotta you go with you know somebody that's gonna typical pocket passer, but or you are gonna go with somebody that's gonna add scary defense. You know what I mean with his arms and legs, but. That's the end of the video or this video, man. 
Now stick around, it's another half of the video, bro. So stay tuned for that. Look at that, bro. Raheem Bailey, he came in two quarters, man. Two quarters and then tore it up like that, man. The key, man, finished 10 for 16. I'm first gonna go to receiving set, man. Jones led everybody with trading with five receptions, 87 yards. Jones had it 42. That tight end had 45 yards and two catches. Higgins, two receptions, 28 yards, and that touchdown. And after that, it's pretty much a fall off. But just a good way to spread, man. Look at this. You had Jones, you had Bailey, you had Pete. Bro, it's just like. It, the starting quarterback don't give you that, bro. Six six rest of 87 yards? Like, come on, man. But the coaches got a really tough decision to make, for real, for real. You know, let me let y'all, y'all let me know, man. 10 for 16, 128, no touchdowns. Didn't get sacked. You know, Bailey had six for nine, 105. One touchdown. He added 87 yards on six carries in one score. So, yeah. Y'all know what my vote is. Y'all let me know what y'all vote is. Comment below, man. But that's the end of this video, man. Stay tuned for more. Like I said, it's more coming at you right now. Man, look. Y'all seen a couple days ago, man. I put in work. I mean, from studying, practicing. I've done all I can do. And at this point, like for real, for real, it's up to the coaches. If it was up to me, hell, of course I have myself started. I mean, who wouldn't? I didn't bring my ass all the way out here to California to ride the pine. Nah, that ain't me, man. That's not how I was raised. Dummy, you're a genius. If it's one thing I learned from my mom, it's bet on yourself. And I damn sure did that, man. The coach hit me up and said, hey, stop by the office. Hit me the coaching staff. They made a final decision moving forward who's going to be QB1. And as I just said, I'm, I'm always going to bet on myself. For real, for real. So he laid it to me plain and simple. Moving forward, I was going to be QB1. And I wanted to say it's about damn time, but, I mean, they had a really tough choice to make, man. That makes me wonder what is McKee going to do. Is he going to ask for the transfer portal? If you ask me, hell, I don't give a damn. But you know what? I'm glad they chose me, man. Now, you know, the first person I hit up is my mom. She told me congratulations. And now, now that's out the way, now I can really focus on bringing this team to what that national championship? That's what I'm all about, man. It was one thing I promised Coach, and I told him, hey, I promise you, you would not regret this decision, bro. You talking about happy as hell, bro? Yo, I wanted to go out and party and celebrate, but I know it's work to be done, man. So, you know what? I see a lot done week one when we go against Syracuse, man. to episode three it's your boy cr8 here and today man your boy finally made qb1 we are taking on syracuse and we had a strong ending towards last season and now so we're coming into this new season we are ranked number 15 but hold up man y'all do me a favor man watch the video all the way through like comment subscribe man y'all know the whole routine man appreciate it gladly appreciate it man but I think the coaches made the right decision, man. Right here, they are sending pressure early and often. They are trying to rattle your boy, man. But we're going to settle in. We're going to settle down. And we're going to play our game, man. Not the game plan that they want us to play. And right here, look at the dot. But Archer cannot hold on to it. 
that's gonna bring up a third and 10. We have to convert right here. We cannot let this drive in right here so quickly. And that boy Bowman picks up a first down pickup of 16 on the play, man. We wanna bring that excitement back to Cali, bro. Back to this Stanford program and look at the fullback rumbling and bumbling and stumbling and he picks up 11. That's rare to see, man, having a fullback get a carry. <laughs> like, come on. First and 10, bro, look at the blitzing, man. He get it out to you. He's one of his favorite target, Higgins. And he picks up nine and nearly a first down. All right, second and one, man. If y'all digging that GTA cutscene, man, if y'all digging the video, man, just, it's, it'll be gladly appreciated, man. It don't cost you nothing to, you know, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and comment on the video. But third and one. Jones, and he picks up a first down, man. Let's go. Now, this season, bro, we cannot lay it all on Bailey's shoulders, man. We, he, he just cannot carry the whole entire team. Even though he is, hold up, they sent all out blitz, and Archer makes up for that drop pass, and we get our first touchdown pass of the season. Let's go, man. First in 10, but like I say, man, Bailey cannot, you know, Oh, good throw, good <laughs> throw and good catch. I thought Jones stepped out of bounds right there, but apparently he didn't. Second and 10 right here. They keep leaving him open, bro. We just go give a give. You know, we going to take what the defense gives us, basically what it is, bro. A lot of times we just going to have to take it, man, for real, for real. But like I was saying, man, we can't we escape in pressure. We had to get rid of that one. Bro, we definitely had to get rid of that. Definitely want to take a second. Right Hand off to Jones, and he picks up fine. And he he needs to have a decent good year, man. Him and, and Pete with the quick feet. Yo, like, like I said, we, we can't have right here, bro. We got to hit him in stride. Come on, man. But like I'm trying to say, is that, well, we, we can't have Bailey carrying the whole the entire offense, bro. I mean, it, of course, he all starts with the quarterback, but you got to have weapons around him. You know what I mean? So, I believe we got that, man. You boy, RB is definitely the, the captain of the ship. And look at Jones breaking tackles, and he picks up 10. Come on, give, give us the first down, man. Oh, play action. Oh, look at the strands. Let's go. Look at, yo, nothing but green grass, bro. This is a big ass kid. Six tickets by that 230, 235 range. Yo, he's only going to get bigger, man. And right here, let's go. Let's go, Bradley Archer with his second receiving touchdown on the season. Bro, let's go, man. If I, I don't know what it is, bro, but y'all know when you play RTG right here, yo, Archer is, yo, <laughs> is having himself a game, bro. But it's like when you play any position on, on office or on RTGs, like your defense is just, you know, they could be ranked dead number one in rushing defense, but passing defense, bro, they be ranked dead last. I don't know what it is, man, but first and 10, as they continue to dial up the pressure. But like I say, this is one thing McKee couldn't do, man. Escape the pressure like that and, and scare the defense. So, you already know, you already know how I feel. They made the right decision. It's Jones breaking tackles left and right, and he picks up a first down. I don't know why. If he picks up 10, man, why is it second and inches? But second and inches right here. You were just going to hand it off to him, bro. Good vision to cut that back to pick up a first down, man. First and goal. Let's put this game away, man. Hand off up the middle. Let's go. Let's go. We up 21 to nothing. Hopefully, we get a field goal range, man. It's Higgins with the dot as he picks up 13. Seven seconds left. Unfortunately, we probably not going to get nothing out of this drive. And right here, I should have threw it a circle, bro. I threw it a little too late. Yo, if we had about two seconds left on the clock, man, that definitely would have been, you know, the, uh, extra points, man. But they are slowly creeping them back into the game. Oh, look at the protection. Look at the protection. Higgins. Higgins, boy. Move them feet. Move them feet, bro. Let's go. Pick up a 52. Let's go. Now, we got 
got some good, decent receivers, but we don't just have that that blistering. And right here, we're going to skate the pocket again. We're going to get what we can, man. Pick up a three. But we don't have that, that Henry Ruggs kind of speed. You know what I mean? Right here, I was debating this shit. I run it or throw it, but we're going to take off and we going to get a first down. Pick up a seven. First and goal. But I wish, I wish we did have that, though, man. A lot of times you really you necessarily don't speed always doesn't kill though. You know what I mean? So and what I mean by that is like look at D Hop. 40 yard dash. It was like four, five, four, six. Arguably one of the best, if not the best, probably behind Devontae Adams. It's best receiver in the field. So a lot of times speed does matter, but then again, it doesn't. Depend on the position, I say, man. But Higgins gets in the end zone, man. As we extend our lead, and they just keep coming back, man. I don't know what's up with our defense, bro. In the future, I'm, I'm just gonna note it, bro. If we if we play another, you know, ain't no problem. We will. We need to go up to a team that has a dominating defense, bro. A dominated defense and like an okay offense. That that definitely would be perfect. Right here, we get it out to Higgins again, and he is having a career. Hey, he picks up nine. All right, second and one start of the fourth quarter. Our defense need to come up with a stop, man. <laughs> like point blank, period. Right here, all kinds of time. Look at the protection, bro. Higgins with another catch. He picks up 17 on the play. And kudos to the offense line, man. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> like, they are stepping up. They are protecting their quarterback. And Trey Man picks up 15. All right, third and two, bro. Oh, good call. Bro, turn it up, field. <laughs> like, man, come on, man. Look at this. Come beside the hell. Let's go for it, man. Fourth and three. We'll let back from, bro. It's an easy three points. The coach just said, fuck it. We want seven, bro. And right here, we don't trust nobody. Like I said, bro, we are not sliding. We are not juking. Yo, we coming straight at you. Like, for real, for real. Third and five, bringing a pressure. And Bowman with his second catch of the game. And it is a huge one that goes for 20. All right, second and four. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Pick up a five, man. I know it's early in this RTG, but give me some suggestions on what the next... The next RTG, I believe I'm just going to do one position rather than two. And right here, if we would have set our feet in through the ball, that depth would have been the first down, the fourth and sixth. And we get, we did get points out of that drive, man. But, yo, this was a game that we are lucky to come away with because our defense is, yo, <laughs> they need to step up, man. But they definitely need to step up. But we are winding down towards the end of this video, man. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm not just saying it just to be saying it like for real, for real. God knows I'm, I'm grateful for every single subscriber that I have, man. It's because of y'all that I'm able to, I'm really enjoying this, man. Like for real, for real, man. And, you know, I, I couldn't be proud of myself, couldn't be proud of y'all for, for the support, man. And long as you put God first, man, in, in any and everything you do, believe me I'm a living witness bro everything in your life will be so much smoother so much easier man but you gotta put God first man but that's towards the end of the video we get our first part of the game man it's your boy CR8 and until next time man we all are up out of here man